Let's read Jeremy Jackrabbit's Jumping Journey. Jeremy Jackrabbit had always enjoyed jumping rope. When he was just a little jack bunny, he could jump rope 10 times without tripping. Before long, he could jump a hundred times. When Jeremy came to Alphabetty School, he was a little jittery. So at recess, he decided to do what jackrabbits do best. He found a jump rope and he started to jump. All the kids ran over to Jeremy. They wanted to be his rope turners. Jeremy could jump forward, backward, and double dutch. The other kids were amazed by Jeremy. How do you do that? they asked. This is just what jackrabbits do, he joked. We jump. Soon Jeremy became a little bored with ordinary jumping, so he learned to jump on his hands, on his tail, and even on his long jackrabbit ears. How do you do that? the other kids asked. This is just what jackrabbits do, he joked. We jump. One afternoon, Jeremy saw the janitor putting up a huge sign at school. It said, Jump Rope Contest, win a journey to the Jump Rope Hall of Fame in Japan. Jeremy's jaw dropped. A journey to Japan? Jumping jellyfish! Jeremy jotted down all the details. Then he jumped home to make a plan. The next day, Jeremy ate a power breakfast, carrot muffins with broccoli jam, and a big jug of lettuce juice. Then he worked on his jumping. Jacob Jackal came jogging by. He was juggling some jingle bells. Jeremy told Jacob about the contest. What would make a jumping jackrabbit look extra special, Jeremy asked. Jacob rubbed his jaw and thought. Jazz up your jeans with jingle bells, he said. You'll jingle a jazzy tune while you jump. Jacob helped Jeremy sew bells on his jeans. The bells jingled joyfully. Jumping in jazz jeans is even more fun, cried Jeremy. Then Jeremy spied Jessica Jaguar playing jacks. He told her about the jumping contest. Let's put jewels on your jacket, Jessica said. Then you'll sparkle while you jump. They glued jewels all over Jeremy's jacket. Now you look jazzy and jaunty, said Jessica. Jeremy's jazzy jeans and jaunty jacket made him feel extra special. The day of the contest arrived. Jeremy was last in the long line of jumpers. He was ready. He would jump faster, higher, and fancier jumps than ever. Some of the other jumpers were watching Jeremy. They were jealous of his jumping, so they began making fun of him. Look at Mr. Jingle Jangle, they jeered. Suddenly, Jeremy didn't feel like jumping. Don't listen to them, whispered Jacob. They're just jealous. Jeremy, just do what you do best, said Jessica. Jump! The judges called Jeremy's name. He walked over to the jump rope. His knees felt like jelly. He tried to keep his jeans from jingling, but they just jingled and jangled away. Slowly, Jeremy started to jump. Jingle, jangle, jingle, jangle. He looked nervously at the judges, but the judges were smiling. Folks in the crowd were smiling too. Jeremy started jumping faster and faster and higher and higher. His jeweled jacket sparkled, his jazzy jeans jingled, and Jeremy did what jackrabbits do best. He jumped. Jeremy jumped at jet speed. He was jolly, he was joyful, he was jubilant. Jacob and Jessica started chanting, Jump, Jeremy, jump! Jump, Jeremy, jump! 
Soon the whole crowd joined in. Jump, Jeremy, jump! The judges leaped to their feet. Jeremy Jackrabbit, they said, you are the winner of the journey to Japan. What is the secret of your success? This is just what jackrabbits do, Jeremy joked. We jump! And when Jeremy arrived in Japan, that is exactly what he did. He jumped. Welcome to Japan, Jeremy Jackrabbit. The end. Thank you for reading with me.